What up, techies? Welcome back. NASA researchers have just announced the discovery of the largest planet in the universe. The new planet, located in the Tarantula Nebula, is twice the size of Jupiter and has a mass equivalent to 100 million Jupiters. Scientists are still trying to determine how it formed and what conditions are like on its surface. Stay tuned for all the details. Just this year, NASA discovered more than a dozen planets, ranging from super-Earths to gas giants similar to Jupiter and other far-off planets. It's believed that our Milky Way galaxy alone has more than a trillion exoplanets. Among these many celestial bodies, researchers have just found one so enormous that it easily dwarfs the size of our closest neighbor. This newly discovered planet is believed to be the largest in the universe, and its size is simply mind-boggling. To put things into perspective, if this planet were placed in our solar system, it would be so large that it would stretch from Mercury all the way out to Pluto. And that's just one planet. Imagine how vast the universe must be if there were trillions of other planets, many of which are probably even larger than this one. It's truly astonishing to think about and highlight how tiny and insignificant we are in the grand scheme. Nevertheless, it's exciting to know that there are still so many mysteries left to be uncovered in the cosmos. Who knows what else we'll find out there? Exactly what do we know about this enormous super planet? What is the name of the planet that was found after its discovery? Centauri B was previously thought to be too hostile an environment for developing a planet around two massive, extremely hot stars. Still, the European Southern Observatory's telescope in the Chilean desert captured images of the planet, one of the most massive ever found around a star, more than three times the size of the Sun. Because B-type stars are considered corrosive and harmful, it was previously thought that large planets would have difficulty forming around them, as everything is on a massive scale in this harsh environment governed by intense radiation. This planet has one of the broadest orbital distances ever found, according to the findings of a study published in astronomy and astrophysics. It's 100 times greater than the distance between Jupiter and the Sun, and its survival is likely dependent on its great distance from the two core stars. The search for planets around massive stars is expected to increase to find new planets and to find existing ones to better understand how they formed in the meantime. The Hubble Space Telescope observed the planet's disk instability compared to a flash fry in the creation process. Instead of growing into a planet over time from a small core that gathers matter and gas the protoplanetary disk orbiting a star is broken up into one or more planet mass fragments by gravity. As astronomers have sought definitive proof of this process, Hubble's resolution and lifespan proved to be a crucial missing piece of the puzzle. The young star, only 2 million years old, is surrounded by a protoplanetary disk of dust and gas swirling around it. This is the location of the newly formed planet Toy 849b, which roughly corresponds to the time during planet Toy 849b formation. According to the study's lead authors, the Subaru Telescope and Eureka Scientific's Bain Curry, the raw materials for every planet come from a disk around a distant star. What may have happened is called core accretion, a bottom-up theory, which means planets formed from small pieces of dust orbiting the star then collided and merged to form the larger bodies we see today. The instability of the disk is caused by the gradual accumulation of gas from the disk into this core, an approach from the top-down model where gravity causes a huge disk surrounding the star to quickly shatter into one or more planet mass fragments, as the disk known as a B origin B orbits its host star at an incredible distance of 8.6 billion miles, which is more than two times farther than Pluto is from the Sun. It is most likely about nine times more massive than Jupiter, and if it ever did come apart, it would take an extremely long time to break up. Data from the near-infrared camera, multi-object spectrograph, and space telescope imaging spectrograph, as well as from the 8.2-meter Subaru telescope on top of Mauna Kea in Hawaii, were compared to those obtained by Japan's cutting-edge planet imaging instrument, which is perched atop that mountain. This data also contrasts greatly with what the widely accepted core accretion hypotheses predict for planet formation. It was crucial to have a clear image of the disk and any planets in it, made possible by nature itself, as it is angled nearly face out to our perspective from Earth. Hubble's long life was critical in helping researchers determine the protoplanet's orbit, as Curry admitted he had doubts about whether or not there was a planet at first. According to Curry, we couldn't detect this motion for a year or two. Still, Hubble provided a time baseline combined with Subaru data of 13 years that was sufficient to detect orbital motion. In this case, the Hubble Space Telescope's archive data can be used to travel in time. According to Olivier Jin of the University of Arizona in Tucson and Subaru Telescope in Hawaii, since the byproducts of star formation are drawn together by gravity to create planets, 
Gravity is all that matters. This way, we can better understand how Jupiter-like planets form in the early stages. This discovery will pave the way for further studies into the chemistry of protoplanetary disks like a B origin planet, particularly those utilizing NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. As an alternative, the transiting exoplanet satellite survey has discovered an active neighborhood just 33 light years from Earth, with a star at its center, several dwarf planets orbiting that star, and at least two terrestrial Earth-sized worlds. In this reality, scientists say it would take you 330 years to get there, which is impossible. Still, we can get a very accurate picture of this neighborhood using telescopes and spaceborne spectrometers. The dwarfs are 10 times more common in the universe than our Sun, which is a G-type main sequence star. Despite being 10 times smaller, the inner planets, which are about 1.2 times larger and twice as massive as Earth, orbit their star every 2.8 Earth days. The other, which is one and a half times larger, is three times more massive than Earth. Both are rocky, given the brightness of the M dwarfs. In other words, a protective layer similar to the ozone layer on Earth, and life forms similar to humans could reside here, according to Kunimoto. These planets are fantastic test beds for exploration. But before you get too excited, keep in mind that the newly discovered rocky worlds of interest are unlikely to support life due to their high temperatures and proximity to their host star, which means that they are unlikely to support life. The core planets are estimated to heat up to 818 degrees Fahrenheit, while the outer worlds remain relatively cool. However, searching for habitable exoplanets could benefit greatly from learning more about these worlds. In other words, they could help guide future research into the possibility of discovering planets in the habitable zone. A planet passing in front of a star can be detected by looking for a recurring dip in nearby stars' brightness across our cosmos, while keeping an eye on the satellite's incoming data while traveling from HD 260 to 655. The star, Toy 849b, is an anomaly among wild things in our galaxy circling a sun-like star some 730 light years away. The planet is large, dense, and tightly bound to its home star, with up to 40 piles of earthly material squeezed inside. NASA's transiting exoplanet survey satellite, TESS, also discovered this world, blocking out a sliver of starlight as it passed across its host star, revealing the presence of extraterrestrial life. It was revealed that the planet is 3.5 times as wide as Earth, or 85%, as wide as Neptune, making it an unusually large planet for one so close to its star. As measured by the HARP instrument at the La Silla Observatory in Chile, new data from gravitational studies of the host star's wobble reveals that while the rocky planet Toy 849b may have a thin layer of the atmosphere likely made of hydrogen and helium, it does not contain nearly as much gas as it should because it is likely the core of a gas giant planet, which should have become more gaseous over time. In the whirling disks of gas and dust surrounding young stars, planet seeds the size of sand or grains of rock and ice grow into giant worlds like Jupiter and Saturn. When a planet approaches 10 Earth masses in mass, a process known as runaway gas accretion begins, and the planet's gravity quickly pulls in nearby objects. We know planets like this are rare, but that doesn't mean they don't exist. We just need to figure out how and why. Either way, this is a huge discovery that is sure to excite the astronomy community and beyond. As we continue exploring our universe, it seems more and more likely that there may be other forms of life. What do you think? Comment below and let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all the latest news in astronomy and space exploration. Thank you for watching.